Mr. Ed's lighting them up, firing the hole with the uh, six pounder French howitzer. Where'd it go? Beautiful. It bounced the 50 yards and went right to the target. No kidding. It bounced, Ricochet fire. It bounced the 50 oh, yards. Look at that. Yeah. All right, here we are at the range, ready for shot number two. Mr. Ed is going to check the elevation with his trusty clinometer. Right on. Okay. Right on. Very good. Now, Mr. Ed's going to load the powder. Into the chamber. This is a chamber of FG powder. Go ahead and light them up, Mr. Ed. The six pound ball, same elevation as round number one. And jumped way over the uh, way over the berm. Oh. Okay, ready for shot number three here at the range with the uh, six pounder French howitzer. Okay, well, where the projectile's being recovered, we'll go ahead and service the weapon after shot number three. We'll move the weapon back in battery. It's moved out about 16 inches. Okay, ready to go with round number four here at the range. Good. You see that big hole? Let me get a telephoto shot of that big hole before we uh, fool around too much more. We'll look downrange through the smoke and see if we can see the target that now has a big hole in it. Thanks to Mr. Ed's uh, very accurate aiming. See the hole in that target through the smoke? And that's pretty good for only our fourth shot of the day with this weapon. Or actually the fourth shot in uh, 200 and some odd years with this weapon. I think it's 268 years old. Probably hasn't been fired in 250 years. So uh, we got about a foot of recoil that time and nailed that target. Here comes Ed back from downrange. He has found the ball. Very good. This is the first shot out of four we fired so far that we have been able to recover. The others have uh, bounced over the hill or something. How far? How deep in the ground was that ball? Eighteen inches. Eighteen inches. Where is that ball? Let's pull that out here and take a closer look at it. Went in the ground eighteen inches. My gosh. 
Course, Three ounces of powder. It's, it's kind of muddy there. Soft ground, okay. Soft ground All right. is kind of soft. Well, let's take a little tour of the equipment here. We've got the uh, test carriage that we modify for various cannons. We've got, of course, uh, the uh, six-pounder mystery howitzer that we just pulled back into battery. It recoiled about a foot after the last shot. You can see that uh, there's a lot of uh, slop out in front from the powder residue we've swabbed out of the bore. We've got some uh, shims here to uh, change elevation very slightly if we need to. We've got some uh, spare shot here. We've got some water to clean the weapon with. We've got a shovel to uh, recover shot out of the dirt bank with. We've of course got our trusty earmuffs which we wouldn't do without. What? And uh, we've got our loading cleaning tools including sponges, worms, ramrods, etc. Which we haven't yet perfected since we just started using this weapon but uh, it's a work in progress. Okay here we're gonna try and uh, Repeat shot number six. We had a misfire, so we've abandoned the piece for approximately one hour to go off and refresh ourselves, and here we are back. We've added some powder to the bottom of the vent and another fuse. Go ahead and light them up, Mr. Ed. Three ounces FG black powder, six pound round zinc ball. Over? I yeah, we had a ricochet off the ground and the ricochet off the bank, and it looked like it might have hopped over the bank again. So we'll go down and take a quick look for that one.